it's kind of unlike most places that I've been. I was just very shocked at every aspect of the landscape. It's great to come here and not know what to expect and to be sort of like dropped into a uh, place with very little connection to the outside world. Eighty miles west of Lincoln, off an unremarkable dirt road near the small town of Marquette, is a farmstead like no other. You guys catch it as we get there. How this people go. It's called Art Farm. It's a nonprofit artist residency program Ed Dady started 26 years ago as an experiment. We'll set this in right here on the bucket. Tried to be a farmer, but hell, I was so pathetic. So I thought, well, I gotta do something else. And that's when Dady switched from cultivating corn to cultivating culture. Over the years, total, probably around 800 artists now. I think from about 23 countries. I feel like Art Farm's gonna be marketed as like a CrossFit for artists. <laughs> <laughs> from May through November, up to 80 artists come here each year, as many as 20 at a time. The accommodations are rustic. The studio spaces are equally spare. Some buildings evoke abandonment, others a simple charm. But the evidence of creative energy is everywhere. In exchange for a residency, artists contribute at least 12 hours of labor each week to projects on the farm. My name is Grace. I'm originally from Hong Kong, but I was raised in Los Angeles. I was trained as an architect. I just quit architecture and decided to do architecture in my own terms. When you build something here, like, you're also working with a bunch of different people, which kind of continuously change and transform, like, what that idea is. Why don't you turn this into, like, a three-inch square? Yeah. Every day brings something new. <laughs> on this day, it's all hands on deck to unload the donated remnants of an elevator mechanism for some unknown future project. There are piles of materials just waiting for the right artistic vision. Some things could be around there 25 years, not used, and all of a sudden, where'd they all go? Beyond the work exchange, there are few rules. Imperfection is okay. Failure is an option. And at least at Art Farm, time is not money. There's like freedom to fail here. You, everything you're making doesn't have to be something um, that's gonna be lucrative for your career. Doesn't matter if you fail, just do it. Time is different out here. I mean, it's how you say the, the sky, the moon, the sun keep, is what you keep your time by. Yeah, let's pull the other one, just lay that in down. Pull the other one off, and then we could take the two by fours. Dady trained as a sculptor and ceramicist, but his focus now is on mentoring other artists. Yeah, that's good. He's just kind of dedicated his life to building and maintaining this strange pocket in existence. You could brush his sand at all of these, though. He's an incredibly inspiring human being, uh, mostly because he literally knows how to do anything. He treats us all completely equally, uh, whether you're a poet who's never hammered a nail or, you know, you're a sculptor who's built, like, massive structures. I drove from New York City, and I just had this vision of a door that sat in the middle of a field. And it's just, like, so odd and interesting and hilarious to see 
what people will do when given a plot of land and literally no expectations or directions. I come to a place like this where the emphasis has been taken away from efficiency uh, and productivity and is put towards inspiration and creativity. I felt a little bit of a, a spiritual change in me. I just keep coming back because it's a place where I feel incredibly inspired. Where they covered from an area that's very competitive in terms of who gets in a gallery. You see that the first week they're here, that competitiveness has come with them. And then they start to pick up on it. The art farm, where everybody sees this initially as God, this a, a chaotic mess, but then they start to understand there is order, organization here. We're building a basket covered platform for Art Farm for people to be able to work during the day in a pleasing environment, write poems, make a painting. The whole building is sort of based off of a shaker basket styles. I've been experimenting with like traditional craft styles and how like the structure of those and the manipulation of material can affect uh, experimental architecture. Our point is gonna go forward. Yep, you guys walk backwards, yep. Art Farm is such a wonderful place. It's a very like giving environment. Um, we do a lot of things communally. We have a lot of meals together and we work together to actually build the physical property here. And I think that bleeds over into everyone's practices and people support each other in a really beautiful way. We just going over there. Or the welding area. So maybe we should just build a ramp. Admittedly, Art Farm isn't for everyone. The longest residency has been four years. The shortest, 45 minutes. You don't know if it's a like romantic idealization of what rural America is. The way you get here, damn, there's mosquitoes biting you all the time. The wind drives you crazy. You gotta walk in mud sometimes. So yeah, some this cannot take it. Well, I've only lived in cities my whole life. I was a little shocked by the rustic nature of it at first. I mean, I still haven't gotten used to like bugs eating my flesh all day, but I really enjoy just like being able to work outside like this. I've grown to like it a lot. In 26 years, only three Nebraska artists have applied to the program. Perhaps Art Farm is simply less exotic to homegrown artists. But the competition for spots here increases each year. Word of mouth has turned this little known experiment into a sought after residency for artists from all over the world. This is my third season, I guess you'd call it. It's changed me in ways that I couldn't, I don't think I could articulate. The gift of time is something that is probably the best tool that any artist or writer or creator of any kind could ask for. 